This recipe combines two of my favourite things, meat and Yorkshire puddings. So here is my toad in the hole recipe. And for the ingredients you'll need, four sausages, a couple of sprigs of rosemary, one egg, 125 grams of plain flour, 300 ml worth of milk and some olive oil. Firstly, heat the oven up to 220 degrees. Get yourself a high sided bread tin and pour the one tablespoon of oil in. Then stick it in the oven to heat up. In the meantime, prepare your sausages by separating them and then pricking them a couple of times on each side in order to let the juices out. Once the oil in the bread tin is piping hot, take it out of the oven and then carefully place the sausages in. Now put the sausages back in the oven and leave them to cook for 15 minutes, making sure you turn them halfway between as well. And in the meantime, you need to prepare your batter mix. So sift in your 125 grams of plain flour into a large mixing bowl. Crack in the egg and then pour in the milk and then thoroughly whisk it all together until it's nice and smooth. And then set it aside. After 15 minutes, the sausages should have just started to turn brown. So take them out of the oven and then pour in about two thirds of the batter mix. The sausages should be covered about halfway with the batter. And to finish off, put the two rosemary sprigs on top in order to flavour and then put it back in the oven. You'll need to leave your toad in the hole to cook for between 35 and 45 minutes or until it's risen and turned nice and golden brown. And as tempting as it may be, try not to open the oven door until near the end or else this may affect how well it rises. Then serve up your toad in the hole with your favourite veg and gravy and enjoy. And you can check out even more of my recipes by clicking on one of the videos coming up.